real question is like, why bobs always make you want to swing your hair? Like you got to make sure it's swingable. Like you got to make sure it's swinging properly. Like you got to make sure like it's the right company where it's just going to swing. Cause not every bob swings. You got to make sure that bob is swinging. Like it's supposed to be swinging. box that I received and it came along with the wig as well as some other goodies in the bag. I will insert a clip of me actually unboxing everything from it but I am just going to walk through everything right now. So the wig came in this pink box, Free Cool, and this is one of those magnetic boxes so whenever it does close it does lock as well. So this is the first company that I've seen to have the actual magnetic box. But this is the box that it came in. As you can see, it is the bob wig. It has all the details in the inside. And it also has all the information as well as all their um, social media websites on the back of the box. So along with the wig, it also came into this bag. So you did get pretty much a lot of stuff with this wig. So this is the pink bag that came inside of the box. And it came with this brochure, of course, with all the information and some of the items some of the items that they actually have. The wig also came with a bonnet, some lashes, scarf, some wig clips, edge brush, a straw comb. Of course, it came with a wig cap. So this is the wig that it came with. This is a five by five, 12 inch bob wig. So I had already bleached the knots on this wig. So I am just gonna prepare it for the actual install. So when it, whenever this wig came, it was very silky, shiny, flowy, um, very, very silky. Um, so after washing it and bleaching the knots, it definitely gave it a little bit more texture. And what I mean by texture, I mean it feels more natural versus very silky. So it does have a lot of body and silk to it, but it does have a little bit more um, a texture feeling to it once you actually bleach the knots and probably washed it. So as you can see, this hair is more of a brown color. Hair appears to be um, true to length. It looks about a 12 inch. And I did let this wig air dry, so if it does have a little bit of a wave pattern, um, that is the way it looks. So it does slightly have a wave pattern to it. And this wig also has blunt ends, so I am just going to straighten the wig out um, today, so you're going to actually see it. You see how it looks like in the blunt look. So this is the wig looks like, so just putting it up to my head, it goes about right here on me. But the inside of the wig appears to be like this. As you can see, it had already bleached a knot, so that's why it looks a little bit brassy. But it is supposed to be five by five. The wig comes with combs on the side, as well as a comb at the bottom. So normally um, a lot of wigs have a comb in the middle, but this one does not have a comb in the middle, but it also has an elastic band on both sides of the closure. So this wig is meant to be glueless. So this is one of Recool's glueless wigs. So we are going to be installing it as a glueless wig. So no adhesive, no Erica J, no nothing. I'm not even going to use any hairspray, no even or anything. I'm going to wear this completely glueless. But this is the way the wig looks. And it is about five by five. So how it is, it's going to be five inches down and five inches across. I did not do any plucking on this wig so far. I am actually gonna do that on camera. Just gonna pluck it just a little bit and of course styling it. The tweezers that I use to pluck. 
to fuck with. These are the tweezers that I use. They do have a square slant on it. What I'm going to do is take my cuticle scissors and cut off each end of the wig where it is the thickest. I like to go ahead and cut that off. And I haven't tried on this wig so I do want to try it on. I do want the wig to be a little bit snug so I am just going to adjust it in the back after I try it on to see exactly how it fits on my head. y'all this wig fits actually really good um i probably don't even need to adjust the back at all i have it actually clipped on to both sides so it won't move too much um but this wig actually fits really good it's honestly a perfect fit as you can see my hairline is right there so if i actually right above my hairline i can see my wig cap through it so um, this wig is actually a really good fit, so I'm just going to take some makeup and um, place it on the wig and then cut it and all of that. And I'm just going to take my Ruby Kisses foundation and just place it on the outside of the cap. Just going to take my liquid mousse and spray it because what i'm gonna do i'm actually just trying to push back my um the baby hairs on this wig split in the middle just like that and I'm just going to use my my eyebrow razor and just cut off the size and I'm just going to do it as close to the hairline as possible This is what it looks like straight in. As you can see, the ends are blunt, but it is a kind of a little thin at the end. I did have a little bit of flyaways around my closure part. Um, and I think I am just gonna trim it a little bit. I'm just gonna trim it a little bit so um, I can get like a really bobbish look instead of it being um, long. 
I am just gonna turn around in the back so y'all can see how it looks in the back. Cut it just about an inch. So I can really get that bobbish look instead of like a long bob. See how much of a different that makes the wig look. It looks so much cleaner, so much like blunt looking. I didn't even trim that much off, but I am just gonna trim the rest. But I feel like it makes it look so much cleaner, so much um, bobbish. Makes it feel like it's so much bobbish. And y'all see, like this bob is moving. Like this hair is so silky once you press it out. It moves, it flows, like it definitely goes with you without you even doing too much. This wig is giving scalp. Like, you don't even need baby hair in sight at all. You don't even need baby hair in y'all look. But y'all know I live for baby hair, so I'm definitely giving myself baby hair. My got to be gel, and I'm just gonna sweep them. Take a pea side about that much. I'm going to take my edge brush and just swoop the hair. The hair is so soft and silky, um, so soft and silky, like, it's really, really, a really nice bob. 
guys for watching my video if you do have any questions please leave them down below and if you are new please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you all for watching